All right, for our midterm critique to get ready for it, remember on our course outline, next class, this is our big midterm day. And to, by the end of class period today, we need to have the files chosen and made print ready so that I can print them so that you have them for your critique next class, right? So this is what we call proving ground number three. It's our full class midterm gallery critique. If you don't have three prints, you can't do that proving ground. And we don't do it later in the class, right? Because there's only one class period where we have our gallery show for the midterms. So what I'm showing you is how to make your three midterm critique prints. I already showed you how to make your TIFF for your logo. And if you don't have a vector for your logo yet, ignore it. Pick three other assignments. This is where our organization comes in. So I'm going to organize all of my different logo files into assignment four, my various color variation PNGs, my various, I've got a few of them, my different PSDs for my color, for my black and white. When in doubt, keep both. Okay, now I look back at my other assignments and I think, what are the other two I want? Is it my cartoon line art? exercise? Is it my my cat? I do kind of like my cat, so maybe there's something there. On and on. Assignment one, I made that a lot better with my resubmission, so I think that's going to be one of them. Okay, so if I know I want that, I'm going to go, just like I did with my logo, open up Photoshop. Not open the, the file in Photoshop, because that gives you accidentally the opportunity to accidentally like take its quality down, right? Instead, open Photoshop and say new file, just like we did for our logo. Make sure it is eight by 10 inches by 350. But if you're doing your landscape, which is the trickiest one, I am going to change that orientation to be landscape format, which is 10 inches wide, eight inches tall. All the other defaults, but Again, 8 by 10 by 350, either portrait or landscape format. Create, and you get this white rectangle, which is like the inside of the map, right? Again, like this. I'll turn on my camera. We're talking about this 8 by 10 window, which is really 7.5 inches by 9.5 inches, whether it's portrait format or landscape format. All right, next, we're going to take the project, the best image of the project we have. For my landscape, it's my resubmission that I put into Canvas. And I'm going to drag and drop that as a smart object into that 8x10. Now, it will fill the space. But notice, if I print it like this and then put it in a map, there's going to be a white stripe on the two sides of paper showing. That's not great. So what you want to do instead is what's called float mount it, hold down option, and just shrink it down a little bit so it looks nice on the white space. Right? So then it will float within your mat. Then hit return. You don't have to worry about your resolution. You know that if your file was a good quality, that it will look good on 8 by 10 by 350. Right? So now, say, file, save as... And you're going to label this, you know, Carl uh, print landscape for midterm. You don't want to overwrite your assignment. And under format, it's no longer a Photoshop format. You want it to be a TIFF format. You're going to say save, and you always want LZW. So our print files are always LZW. And then you want to go to layer once you've saved the TIFF and flatten the image. And now I forgot you want to put PR in front of it. PR dash, so you know it's print ready. Save it to the desktop with LZW. Now it's optimized for printing. So I'm going to put that into my folder. It doesn't go into my assignment one, it goes into my midterm critique folder. I'm going to show you what to do with that folder in a second. And I mark it gray. 
So now I have two out of three. What's another one that might be tricky? So the last one is, what if you wanted to print your animation? Right. The one that's already set up, that's easy. The one that's trickiest is probably your first proving ground, your creature scape. Because some of you, remember when you did your assignment, you had to say whether it was good for print quality or for screen quality. If it's only good for screen quality, don't use it as one of your prints or it's going to look really, really fuzzy. So I am going to use my animation and I'm going to use my refined storyboard. So I'm going to open that up in Photoshop. And this is my finished storyboard. If I wanted to print that, this is the one with the color shifts. This is what I need to do. I need to actually say, file, save a copy, call it PR for print ready, and then Carl storyboard print for midterm. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm going to save it in what format? TIFF. Because we are printing. It's called an archive format. And, and what image compression do I want? Always LZW. Saves memory. And then it's going to remind me, do I really want it with all those layers? And I see that this isn't my TIFF. So I've got to close this. Do not flatten your PSD. All of this extra work is so that you don't accidentally flatten your PSDs. I take this TIFF, I mark it gray, and then I open that in Photoshop. Too many versions of Photoshop on this computer. And then I'm going to say layer flatten image, which is going to make a huge difference to how quickly it prints. Because there are a lot of extra layers there. And then I save it. And then I put it in my folder. Okay, this was already formatted. You just got to trust me because we did an image size of 30 by 40 inches at 150. What that is at 8 by 10 is 562 pic pixel resolution, which is great. So you don't need to worry about it if you set up your refined storyboard the right way. Okay, now I have my, my midterm critique prints. I mark it gray. Because the digital files aren't what's necessary. What's necessary are the physical prints. And now I go to the class. Let's go to the home page of the class. And you're going to go to links, which I'm going to pause now because I don't want to make that public on the YouTube. All right, when you go to links and you click on dropbox.com, your links page on the Canvas home page will also show you what the username is and the password if you need to sign in. And I might need to give you a security code if you haven't signed in on this computer in a long time. But I can do that for you. Okay, once you're in the, the Dropbox, you want to click on the first folder, Digital Art Class Files. And then you're going to click on the first folder again, which makes sense. It's called Flatten TIFF Files to Print. Just reminding you this is where TIFFs go, and they need to be flattened. Then you each have your own folder here for this semester. So you're going to find your folder. I'm going to find mine. Here's mine for the morning class, right? And then you're going to drop your prints in. So the only thing that goes in here are your, your three tips. And because we are doing the Veteran Center project, right? the service learning with assignment four, I would like you to take your EPS file and to also drop that in. And if it's not finished yet, don't worry about it. I'll be reminding you later. But this is also where you'll, you'll give me your vector file for your patriotic personal symbol to use with the murals for the new veteran center once it's built. So those are the four things that go in. Your EPS and then your three prints for the midterm. All right.